You were hoping she would say, will you fuck me? But she asks you to go inside her. You know in order to do this, some part of you already is. You use what you always fall back on, your hands. And this time, it is a fist. The truth is, you never go in that way. You're never sure she'll let you and sometimes doubt your ability to push in the right ways, but they ask you to. You know your body's fit when the femme under you doesn't even have to ask you to go slow, to take it easy. You like to think this is the secret language of femmes. It's not reserved for anyone in particular, just the ones willing to hear it. You know there is a type of magic hid inside them and she wants you to find it. Then, one hand slides itself into their hair and grabs it just enough to tilt her head back and let a small moan escape from that mouth where so many beautiful words live. Then, you take your other hand, your good hand, the hand you can't live without because you use it for everything. The hand you take for granted until right now when you feel the muscles in your body tighten and your heart beat against your bones, you wonder if she can hear it. You take that hand and you go to work. It makes its way inside and their face changes and she opens for you like pages and water and she allows more of you to enter them and you can't help for a split second think of all the ways and all the people that have been where you are right now. You take their archaeology and try to read the writing on the wall, try to find the culture and the history so that you, you can be different. You won't take it and put it someplace else for everyone else to see. No, you will let it stay put and just be thankful you got to see it at all and thankful their eyes are closed so they can't see the dumb fucking look on your face because to you, this is not discovery. <laughs> it's not fine tuning an instrument. It's not trying to hit the right notes. It's just a moment. And you want to make it last as long as possible so you keep going. And maybe now you're thrusting your good hand deeper and deeper while your other hand gently holds their throat or cups around their head like a baby bird. You hear the sound she makes, feel their nails dig into your arms and back, and their body is in flight, and you move together. Then it starts to happen. The good hand takes the form of a fist. And though it pushes into them, it doesn't fight its way in. And the pushing is a punching faster and faster. And once again, you can't help but think where your fist has been. How many protests it's cut through the air, how many times it's defended the country of your body against those who would hurt it, how it's punched walls and doors and windows and can never find a way out of its own pain or into its own sanity is somehow, right now, completely holding this femme up. And if this hand moves a certain way, it has the ability to ruin her or set her free. This is no dick, no cock. It takes time to enter. You have to forget yourself so you can practice the lost art of listening, not to their breath, but to their want. Patience is not a virtue here. It is a requirement, and there is a strong chance. You might not make it all the way in sometimes, but a sure chance that you are forever changed when you come out. And their mouth, that is usually so full of words, only manages to let one of them out. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> and when their sounds have turned to high-pitched moans, then screaming, then crying, then more screaming, and the length of them has become one wide open geometry, then, then you really give them what she wants, what she's asked for. You go inside. And to say that she comes doesn't quite cut it because really both of you arrive together. And your hands, these tiny wonders that you criticize for being too small or too rough or not fast enough to keep you fed or housed turned out to be everything that one femme needed right then. And you exit the same way you went in but never the same and you let them breathe it all in while you lie on top of them and kiss them and fall into their hair. You let them feel it all and you hold it. That space, 
that moment now gone, it leaves you, but it lives somewhere else now. Mm. 